Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade, and it's time for a update on things. Um, last week, uh, I went out to East Lansing, to uh, Michigan State University, and they had a there's a clinic out there. And actually, it used to be an old hospital, and they moved over into Lansing, and so they used that building for like the specialist, um, you know, the specialty care kind of thing. And uh, so I went over to my neurologist over there, and the place is a maze. I mean, it literally is a maze. And I could see why they, cha they changed over to one in town. But uh, got in there, and uh, the first thing they did was uh, sit down and wait. Okay, so... After that, we uh, went into kind of like a pre-checkup kind of situation. And instead of having the blood pressure pump like on the arm up here, they did one right here. And, you know, this is annoying when they have it up on here. It's annoying as hell, but, you know, you, you learn to get through it. This one was unbearable because... It had a death grip on my hand, and my hand was going like that the whole time. Anyways, they did blood pressure, checked out. Uh, you know, my blood pressure is a little bit higher uh, than normal, but you know, it's not overly so. And uh, then I went over to the neurologist himself, and you know, he gave me the whole you know riot act. You know, stop smoking. Uh, stop drinking do I'll trade one for the other <laughs> but um, he also told me that my stroke they don't know what caused it they suspect it's an arrhythmia because I do have you know occasional uh, you know erratic heartbeat but it isn't like 100% concrete so now we're in the territory of crypto stroke. So I'm kind of thinking, well, damn, I'm sitting on a time bomb here or something because I don't know what's going on. They don't know. I mean, the professionals don't know what's going on. Where's that leave me? I hope you like the shirt, by the way. <laughs> um, so, you know, they showed me my MRI scan, which I hadn't seen before and a CAT scan, and uh, I think there may have been an x-ray, but they didn't show me that one. And, uh, you know, the arteries were, were clear, but the, they did see a, a spot on monogon. Now, I, I tried to get, and uh, today I went in to, for um, a cardiologist, and I asked them about it, and they said I have to go through records and sign a release. Well, didn't have time to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, didn't have time to do that and, and get the actual pictures. And I'll probably, when I do get it, I'll show it at a later date. But I did have um, some pictures that were very similar to mine that I got off of Google. And let's see, take a look here. So, I don't know if this, sh this is showing up here, but this here is about where my stroke is and you know you can see a little white spot there and it's on the basal ganglia and that's all they told me <laughs> um, you know so not, mind you this is not my head this is some generic person's head right, this picture over here uh, on the left ha is basically Similar to the one that I had seen of my my arteries going into my brain, which I thought was kind of kind of cool looking, actually. You know, it looks like roots of a tree or something. Um, these, you know, mine were were normal. I don't know if there's any abnormalities here in this picture, but um, you know that. It was kind of cool, but these are almost exactly like the pictures that I had seen 
um, there at the doctor's office. Um, but I will get uh, updated pictures, you know, actual pictures of uh, my noodle. And you can actually see what it looks like from that. But anyways, um, went in and they showed me those pictures. Well, not those, but the actual pictures. And uh, Saturday couldn't figure out what it, what it was. And so kind of sitting on a time bomb, it seemed, you know, like I said. And uh, the only thing different is that I have to instead of using baby aspirin go to full strength aspirin and I'm I'm okay with that <laughs> um, it, you know I'm taking a multivitamin B12 folic acid uh, see, and the aspirin and then at night I'm taking the Lipitor and uh, and then I'm also taking like vitamin C throughout the day you know but Ain't too much different. So that was last uh, last Wednesday uh, that I went to the neurologist. Now I wanted to do a video like this weekend, but then I thought, well, I'll go in on today, which is Tuesday, and uh, then do the update. Gets both doctors' visits in one update, and uh, so this time I went in for my loop recorder which uh, you know I haven't had real troubles with you know I've had a few instances you know, several instances where you know it just wasn't feeling quite right whether it's gas or if it was an actual issue with the heart and so I just click my tattletale and just hold it over let it go all the way through and that's that and all it does is mark time when, you know, there's, you know, like a, you know, I have a timeline and you just click it and it leaves like a little mark so that when you go to review it in the, in the future, you can look at that one spot and go, well, okay, these minutes up to here, this is what the heart rate was and, and all that. So today, uh, went in and they checked that out. Um, there's several instances where it just it was nothing. At least it wasn't anything related to my heart. Not a problem. But there was a few instances where there was arrhythmia, and you can kind of see on there. There was a lot of. There was another. Um, oh, there's a there's like a, a chart where it was just like heartbeats, and then there's just noise. Like if I hit this too hard or something, and oh well, you know. But. Um, uh, but there was actual arrhythmias that was uh, detected by it, and uh, it was making me feel kind of ill. So, you know, what I'm going to end up doing is, um, and this isn't anything suggested by the doctors, this is just something I'm probably going to do, is uh, get a notebook or something. I got several around here, and whenever I click the tattletale, um, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, just write down what symptoms I'm feeling, and like if it's a heart, uh, if it's um, like if I feel like my heart rate is pounding really hard, or if I'm out of breath, or anything like that, I click it, I write it down, and that way when I go into review um, in three months now, uh, May 10th is my next appointment. Um, we can kind of correlate, you know, what I was feeling on this date and this date, uh, in that time, that time, uh, with the uh, heart monitor. So, you know, there's that. Then again, when I was in the doctor's office, my heart was pounding a little bit because the nurses was pretty, pretty nice, but. Uh, but other than that, you know, the everything's been going fairly good. Um, I haven't had any real issues. I mean, just occasional bouts of something. Um, so it's kind of like uneventful to a degree uh, this week. Um, 
but I do want to get the the MRI and the CAT scan uh, pictures just because I figured that uh, and this is what I told the nurse you know I am cataloging or vlogging or just you know go, telling people about my experience and I figured that you know if people understand what I'm going through you know they might be taking care better care of themselves uh, for people that have a stroke you know it could be useful to them and you never know it could save lives it could you know do some good and you know I, one thing I was thinking about is you know first of all I don't know if if you guys know what signs are uh, of a stroke and let's see if uh, don't have it up there but basically one sign is uh, you know one side or the other of facial sag you know, you know it's like everything just relaxes on one side and this thing's tensed up one side or the other it, it can relate to this side or that side of the brain now the thing about the brain is that it switches over so my stroke was in the you know, pretty much the center but it's off to the left side of my brain and it affected my right arm and you know it doesn't affect it much anymore but anything that affects your brain on the left side will affect your right side of your body and it's also for your right eye um, anything on the left will affect obviously this side so you know the facial sag um, another one is uh, weakness in a limb uh, you know, whether it's your arm or your leg or both um, another one is just numbness like you know you get kind of a tingling feeling or numbness I, strangely enough I didn't go through these symptoms I think I had a little bit of sag um, not really pronounced but it was a, a little sag and I didn't have a numbness I, I had the weakness when it came to writing but I didn't you know my hands were just all good all you know otherwise it's just the very fine motor control and then the other thing um, that they listed was slurred speech and I definitely had that so numbness in uh, limbs facial sag um, slurred speech and you know, let's see what is it and weakness in your you know, one limb not the other are, are signs of a stroke and if you can get those um, figured out very quick uh, within four hours and get into a hospital within four hours um, the effects of your stroke can mostly be reversed um, I know that one thing they do is uh, for within the four hour window uh, you'll get a, an injection of warfarin and what it is is a uh, Oh, it's a decoagulant, a blood thinner, and that could help, you know, with that. Now, warfarin is, in a sense, it's rat poison. I mean, they use heavier, 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 heavier doses, but a, a very, uh, but in this case, it's just a light dose. But you know, warfarin in your large doses is rat poison because well, rat poison makes rats bleed all over the place. <laughs> um, sounds weird, but um, yeah. But you can get shot with uh, a shot of warfarin, and it'll clear your arteries, or clear your, your pipes, and hopefully cure you of that. Um, if you get in outside of that window within the first 24 hours or, or so, there's another thing they do I think it's a uh, you probably put like a probe up into um, your car, uh, carotid or I can't remember if it's carotid or jugular but they'll put something in there to try to break free the clot which I really didn't think that was anything I would want <laughs> but I was outside that window for me I, w I went in three days later you know, on the 30th, on the morning of the 30th, um, I sat in this chair, I laid down, you know, I was 
get my feet up, went to sleep. I woke up a few hours later, I, I think it was like five or six hours later, and went to go out the door and have a smoke. I couldn't speak. Didn't feel any other effects except for when I went to go to the use the computer and the mouse. I was like, I can't control this thing. What's, what's going on? You know, so uh, I waited until the next day, and I'm like, okay, this is not good. And um, I told my dad, told my brother, left mom on the loop. Um, and I said, all right, tomorrow. It's the New Year's. We're gonna go in and get this thing, you know, settled. Cause I was really looking forward to going, and also I just, you know, wanted to celebrate New Year's at home. Luckily, uh, that was, you know, it, it was the. Well, luckily, it was me having. Um, you know, a reversal of the stroke in the sense that everything they did works pretty good on, on get me out of it, I guess. I, I don't know if I phrased that right. I'm just lucky. The doctors have all said so. 42 years old, and I had a stroke, and they're like, well, you're young, you can heal from it. Well, I've already recovered from, for the most part. Um, I recovered from it and considering that I went in three days after and I'm still able to speak and still able to use my right hand pretty damn lucky um, can't say the same if you know for anyone else if you know you're older might not recover as much so you know remember just the steps uh, it's uh, facial facial droop, um, weakness in, in one or both limbs, um, numbness or tingling, and slurred speech. All those line up, get your ass to the hospital. And don't put on the brakes. <laughs> don't do what I did, but I mean, I recovered, I was fortunate, but my luck can only run so long, you know, so... Um, but yeah, um, I'm just hoping that the, these videos, for however, for however long they, they go, um, can help out somebody. You, never, you know, I've always said that you never know what little words you say could affect somebody, and I'm hoping that these words um, help somebody not die. <laughs> you know, it's just a little bit nice that way. Um, can't think of really anything else. Um, you know, I'm kind of doing good with the Bitcoin. Um, I almost, I almost bought a new video card, except it's not the same one as before. Um, I think it was a 1060, uh, a GTX 1060, and just as my money came available, because I had to pull out from the site that I'm getting uh, Bitcoin from, just as I pulled it out, get it into my bank, the card sold out. Just my luck. But, uh, so I just figured I'd wait till today and it's not, let's see, I don't think it's up there. Uh, yeah, for, it's, it's GT, GTX 760 or 1060, and it was for 369.99. Everyone else is like 400 plus, so I was gonna get it, and now I can't get it. But uh, there's that. Um, I'm also got a couple things, you know, like uh, you know, I can get free bitcoins and free Dogecoin. And, uh, you know, you get small amounts, but, you know, it's free. You don't have to mine it. You don't have to get any of that. So if you, you want to know what the, the situation is with that, just, you know, email me. Or, well, not email me, but just leave me a message about that. 
uh, gaming wise, um, you know, I've been I've been playing games. I really the slower games a little bit because I'm still kind of taking it, you know, kind of taking it easy. Um, yeah, I just been doing like strategy games and stuff that doesn't really require a lot of uh, you know fast reaction time. Um, but I'm I'm thinking about uh, well, one thing I'm I'm doing is getting into game reviews. Now I've done a few game reviews on this channel, um, but uh, you know I got a backlog on Keymailer, which is uh, the site that I go to and 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 sign up for games for free um, for review and I got a backlog of games here some of them I'm not really sure I want to do because it just don't don't jive with me they're not my type of game really but um, so I might be doing a game review here and there um, and then probably the end of the month um, you know I'm using the settings for my 1080 on my 760, so kind of worried about that. But um, basically, I, I'm probably going to get back into my regular routine of seven days a day. Um, I'll have to do it a little bit differently to manage my time a bit different because I'm, you know, usually. Sunday morning, Saturday morning, whatever. One o'clock until six o'clock or seven o'clock in the morning, and then uh, render them and, and then get, you know get them up online. Uh, I won't be able to do it that way. Uh, probably do maybe one or two, and then another day, one or two, another day, you know, the last one. Um, but I'm gonna gonna try to get back into it, but it's probably gonna be at the end of this month. And God help me if Alpha 17 drops. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's about all I can update you on. Um, like to thank you guys for uh, the comments you left. I know I'm, I'm I've said it last two three videos that I would reply. I haven't been able to do it. Um, my typing is it's getting better but there's now so many <laughs> and it, it, it's just exhausting to, to reply to you uh, to all of them especially with uh, these videos these vlogs I've been getting a lot more views in my gaming videos but uh, you know, a lot of responses to them and it's just hard to keep up with it uh, I do read them but I haven't responded to them so I'll probably if anything I'll just click the uh, you know, hearted it or whatever and you got my sentiment that you know it's cool <laughs> yeah but uh, there's that and I really can't think of anything else to add on to it so uh, thanks for watching and until next time see you later twitch twitch